Hi guys, Karen here with another La Crusade video. And today I am doing a post review, one year post review of the La Crusade Demi Tea Kettle. You know how I always say that I do um, read the reviews, as many of them as I can digest, and I take those into consideration prior to purchasing an item. Um, and I did this when I purchased the Demi Tea Kettle as well. There were a few um, items that people said that they had difficulties with um, that did not show up right away. Um, and for us, it took about um, about eight months in and we have discovered a few issues. So I'm gonna give you some pros and I'm gonna give you the two items that we have discovered um, after a year of having the Le Creuset Demi Tea Kettle. Okay, so here we have the Demi Tea Kettle um, uh, here. And as you can see, it's in perfect, it's in wonderful condition. Everything still works on it in terms of when you um, open the tab, uh, nothing has broken off or anything like that. So the, the pros that we saw um, for the year of owning it is it's, you know, first off, it has great colors to choose from. Um, uh, so they're on all platforms. So whether you purchased it from La Crusade or Crate and Barrel, William Sonoma or Sur La Tabla, or if you found it on Amazon, um, great colors to choose from. The other thing that we did not have a problem with, let me see if I can get this off with just one hand. Yep is there was no rust inside so we dry ours out each time um, and so we had no issues with rust or anything like that um, during this year um, it's this uh, tea kettle is made up of enamel on steel so it, this is not cast iron it is um, enamel coated steel okay um, so far, it resists all stains um, and scratches, so we don't have any scratches or stains or anything like that. You know, on the bottom maybe, but that's because it's going on and off the stove, so that's to be expected. And it has a five-year warranty, so that's why I'm doing the review. So if you've had yours longer than we ha we've had ours, or... Um, you want to catch it prior to so that you have time to send it back or to get something fixed or repaired or what have you, you can do that. Um, okay. So after one year, about four months ago, yeah, about four months ago, the tea kettle stopped whistling for whatever reason. Um, nothing was broken here. It just stopped whistling and at first I just gave it some time to try and fix itself um, but I didn't attempt to fix it because I figured it's a five-year warranty you can send it back or you know you just call and see what the procedure is for this and then when it stops whistling um, the water when it's really really hot boils through and spills through this spout here, right at the top, onto your cook surface. So if you have a gas stove like I do, then it you'll start seeing flames coming from underneath because water and you know and the gas don't mix. <laughs> and so yeah, so that after a year, this is what the issue has been um, in terms of the tea kettle you know in all other instances it is fine no rust no scratches no stains um what have you it is that the tea kettle has stopped whistling and has and empties water onto the cooking surface this was something that we saw in the reviews prior to purchasing and it is true for us um not to say that it's the same for every every demi tea kettle. Everybody's demi tea kettle is likely different. Um, but I just wanted to share this um, updated review with you guys um, just in case. 
um, just uh, you know what I'm going to do is just call and um, see the see what the protocols and procedures are for me to get the item fixed and um, yeah I just thought I would share this with you guys Maya reminded me to share it with you guys um, and I had forgotten to do it a couple of times but today you know I uh, is the day and um, but it's a beautiful tea kettle in all other aspects it is great but when it comes time when the water is ready to be used ours no longer uh, notifies us that it's ready by whistling and it just pours right on out onto the stove and that is consistent with the reviews online if you've not experienced any issues or problems leave that in the comments below we're helping each other out that's the way that i see it like i said uh almost two years ago now wow um <laughs> that i started doing the reviews because i just wanted to see regular folks doing it and um so we could help one another so help you know each other out if you have a demi tea kettle and you've not had any issues drop that in the comments below um let us leave a review leave your review um and if you've uh had some issues or whatnot um leave that in the comments as well um i think it's a wonderful tea kettle to purchase um it's a good price point um, and I think at some point all things, you know, um, you know, break up a little bit or, you know, get some wear and tear at some point, um, you know, but if you use, and, and by the way, we use our tea kettle, we use our tea kettles around here. They're on high rotation. I drink tea every day. Maya drinks tea every day, sometimes three times a day. Um, so heavy rotation here so yes but if you're just using yours on an occasional basis you might not and probably won't have the same issues or problem or what have you sorry my arms get tired here um you probably won't have the same issues or problems or anything like that so but we do use i drink tea three times a day maya probably <laughs> drinks tea about four times a day so yeah our tea kettles are put into heavy use so you know with that being said if you don't use your tea kettle very often it might last a whole lot longer you might not ever see any issues but this review is to let people know who use theirs quite often or may use theirs in the future you know some of the reviews that you read on the la crusade website you know are consistent so um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's have a conversation and I, I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!